Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take up and down your X pole. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is break down the pole and show you its different pieces and parts. And then I'm gonna put it up for you guys so you can see how that process goes doing it at home by myself. Um, just for a warning, you probably want to measure your ceiling in advance to make sure that you have the proper extensions or not and the pole fits. And you also probably want to get a leveler to make sure after the pole is up, it is straight. Um, I do neither of those things in this video, so I just want to go ahead and put that out there in the beginning. So really quick, I broke the pole down into its part, two major parts, and I'm showing you the first bottom part. It is one big piece, and it has this connector, the silver connector that goes in the middle. Um, there's probably another name for it, and I, I don't really know what it is, but I'm showing you a close-up. It has some words written on it that I was trying to show you guys, but the camera wouldn't focus on it. That I think they say, like, expand and something else that I can't remember right now. Um, <clears throat> but you just want to make sure, uh, for the most part, that um, the dots are lined up. Your expo should come with instructions on how to do this properly, so definitely follow along to that. I'm not an expert, I'm just showing you guys how I uh, put my pole up, but in what I do. But the main idea here is that you want the two dots or circles to align and slide that piece down until you hear a little click noise. Make sure that they're aligned. So moving right along, the next piece is the top piece and it breaks down into a few different pieces. The first piece is the one that is going to sit on the ceiling and it's the one I'm taking off now. It's the round piece that I'm holding up that rests on the ceiling. I will show you a close up of that in a second. Next, I'm gonna show you the very top piece which connects to the middle that I'm gonna show you, that long piece I just pulled it off. And I thought this silver piece kind of like came off, but it's just one piece all together. And the only thing that comes off is the top, very, very top, the bolt that I'm about to pull off, which I was having trouble with, so give me a second. <laughs> but that very top piece that I'm pulling out right now and holding up is the one that connects the silver round piece that sits on the ceiling and yeah it gets dirty and oily so be careful with that but it's the one that connects the silver round piece to that very third top piece so those are the three main top pieces that connect to the main middle and bottom piece that i showed you earlier and keep in mind that if your ceiling is higher than any standard ceiling you're gonna need extensions so once everything's all together and flat on the floor, I just want to show you this part really quick. You are going to need a the tool that comes in the packet. I think this is a wrench. And you're going to have to um, unscrew those bolts and make sure they're loose. So when you put the pole up and you start to tighten it, you're able to rotate it. So that's what I'm about to do now. So I'm going to lift the pole up and I am doing this in reverse because I took the pole down <laughs> um, to, show, to make this video. But you're going to lift the pole up and it should be shorter than your ceiling. But once you do that, the bolts are already screwed with your, with your rent, with the, um, I don't even know the name of that tool and then if you're going to try. <laughs> Um, anyways, whatever the name of that tool is, you're going to use it to, you know, unscrew and then you're going to go, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And yeah, I had to tell myself that because, um, I still do the little L shaped, <laughs> the 
<laughs> hold up the little L so I know but I'm gonna just turn this to the right to tighten it and of course here this is when you use a leveler I don't I literally just eyeball it and it's not safe I don't recommend don't do that don't don't do what I do <laughs> Um, definitely use a level and I'm just gonna speed this up because it takes a while and you're gonna have to shake your wrists out because they're gonna start to hurt but once it's up and it's tight and it's all leveled and you got exactly where you want it you're gonna use that tool again that I showed for a brief second earlier to basically tighten the screws that we loosened earlier to you know put the pull up so also, if I didn't mention earlier, before you can actually spin and rotate the pole, you do need to make sure it is on static. Also, you're going to have three tools if you order the x pole that comes with it, or at least that came with mine. I don't know if they've changed it. But there's a small, medium, and big, like, little wrench kind of thing. <laughs> so I'm, I always use the, the medium size. I don't know. The small one doesn't fit, and the big one doesn't fit either so I don't I don't know why they give us those but I just use the medium one maybe someone can comment below if they know <laughs> um, but anyways you're just gonna put it back in the packet and hopefully don't struggle like I did and yeah sorry about the train in the background because um, yeah I live by a railroad train railroad track so once you got your little wrench you're going to take it and like I said there's going to be three of these and you're going to remember righty tighty lefty loosey so you're going to turn it to the right until it is all the way tightened and here I'm turning it to the left because remember I was taking it down but um if you do turn to the left and the little bolt falls out like it did here in my case just put it back in and twist it till it's tightened um, it goes back in really easily one other thing that I want to mention once the pole is tightened to your liking you really want to make sure that this red line is lined up with um, this top piece here so before you tighten the screws you need to make sure that that line if it's off center in any way then the pole is going to move whenever you try to have the pole on static so that's really important so just make sure that line is centered in between that little arrow that's at the top and once that's there you can tighten the screws and then you can lift up this little x pole piece and that is how you are able to adjust the pole to static or spin so i hope that was helpful if you guys have any other questions please email me leave a comment um reach out anyway through uh, my social media and i will do my best to answer your questions but anyways that's how you take up and down the pole Thank you so much for coming to the channel, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.